Hey boys, before we go into this video, we have a little message for you. The sub golds are back. Yes, you heard right. At 375k subs, we have a new sub gold, which is I'm gonna play a full Hoi 4 game with a country that you choose. But here's the twist: we're playing the base version 1.0, no mod, no DLC. We're gonna look at Hoi 4 as it used to be. So my message to all the people that didn't sub yet. Have fun with the video. Bye. Bye. Where is the mega campaign, Dami? Oh my god. Dude, you can't make this up. Bro, I was streaming for 10 minutes and then I realized the stream wasn't on. I'm sitting here the whole time. Where, what, oh my fucking god. You can't make this shit up. I've been literally sitting here. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, is Twitch dead? Why do I have zero viewers? Wandering player, hello, wandering player. And no one is saying anything. Chat, they talk about the vaccine and their mom. And I'm like, is Twitch dead? And I'm like, okay guys, I'm checking Twitch on my phone and it says you're offline. I'm like, what, I'm offline? I've been literally streaming for nothing for 10 minutes. Was that intro? Did you guys see the intro with the music? There was no intro? I'm legit the worst. I'm legit fucking. I streamed to myself for 10 minutes. Sitting here. Oh, Twitch is dead. <laughs> I'm legit losing my mind. And now I need the heavy tank nerf. There it is. Historical multiplayer and heavy tank nerf. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Thank you, UK. Well then, fuck it. I give offering to chat. I give offering to chat. I play. I play major. I play major. Dude, in before chat now complains. Oh, I was fucking playing it. I fucked that. Tell me why I'm playing such bad man. Hey, let's, an let's allow China, man. It's really totally balanced. Anyone who says different is just an idiot. Come on. Uh, also, I'm talking about, I'm gonna, uh, gonna talk about the air production, right? So mm -hmm. I'm gonna go about 100 on air, then I'm gonna start going on guns. Mm -hmm. So I'll need you to go about uh, probably one, uh, like 50 on fighters and then like 50 on tack bombers. Okay. You wanna go heavily into tack bombers. Okay. Uh, it worked really well against me. Uh, <laughs> so probably will work against them too. You wanna get an air co-op or something? Or are you okay? No, it's uh, Leonard on Canada who's doing the AC. Oh shit, I'm actually in a Hoi 4 game? What? Guys, we're in a Hoi 4 game. I have to do my own Navy, I have no co-op. I like that. I'm actually alone on USA, I like that. This is old school shit, man. I'm just gonna play them my way. You know what? I'm not gonna listen to any co-op. I don't listen to any dumb shit. If I fuck up, I fuck up. Let's just fucking play, man. And we're preparing infrastructure for later. Now, construction. I'm doing my own Navy style, man. I'm doing the very old school Navy style. And we all know that you say always runs out of guns. So I'm gonna open up like this. That's my opener. Then you make the training division, training template, blah, blah, blah. Train Navy, boom. That's the early game. In vanilla, I don't think you have the minus 50% on everything. So I'm actually doing um, shifts here. Uh, 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 infrastructure here, because we have a minus 50%. Uno so momento. Tommy Kell rules said, Where the fuck is the USA? Hello. Men of guarantees may join the LS at any point, but USA is not allowed to lend lease anything other than fuel until France has fallen. Uh, I can't send any airplanes to Canada. USA is allowed to put units on Allied territory after the fall of France. USA is not allowed to take the giant wakes until 1st of January 49. I changed it even. It used to be 1st of June 38. I even made it harder now, so USA isn't that strong. USA is very broken in the middle. Always click research grants. I fully believe in that. Anyone who's against it is needed, in my opinion. Research grants is so fucking broken and strong. You know what? I'm even taking scientist. I'm gonna be an idiot. Boom, I took scientist. I don't give a shit. It's Japan. You don't tell uh, your plan. Uh, I have a problem with my cup. It's a, it's a dick. It's legit a dick, dude. You want me to kick him? Um, dude, I, I can't do jack he He's yeah. bitch. He's bitching me now in the axis. He's, he's, a, he's he have a bigger dick than me. And uh, dude, like, what the fuck, mate? I'm kicking him, yeah. Thank you. There you go. No, but like honestly, he said himself he would take over the build. Oh, I got my strikes. Strikes? Huh? You got strikes. Sick, man. Yeah. 
You didn't take away all the mob? Are you a new Purin? Do you know how to play this game? Yes, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, He's having them to right June 38th. Purin, yeah, you've played this game for four years and you still life. fucking suck, man. Jesus. We'll head strikes. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna be training a bit. We have a channel for player. The but there. there's no discussion. You can't discuss it. If Japan is good, you will always beat China. End of story. And if you can't, you suck. That is what it is. That is it. That is just fucking it, man. Actually, let's just uh, make the bombers myself. That means I have to never take the bomber focus and I, I don't waste time on bombers. Why do you build so many railways? Because uh, USA has a natural buff called uh, military factory construction speed minus 50, civilian factory speed minus 50, and doctor speed minus 50. The only thing that you don't have a debuff on is infra uh, infrastructure, which is why you see me build a lot of infrastructure right now, because I don't like building stuff with a minus 50% debuff. If you actually build the infrastructure, A, do you build up your economy and also have infinite fuel, which leads to infinite fucking training of the Navy, uh, but also you you prepare the infrastructure to later build factory on 100% infrastructure, making them even faster. You can remind me to remind you okay, that, about the every consoles, time someone asks, okay? Japan is going to lose his circle. I can't see it, but apparently three Japanese yeah. Marines are dying. And that's the yeah. thing, with all due respect, it's okay to not what be the, the best player, but you don't China? let the three Marines fall. Look at the Russian landing. Hey, but isn't Russia not allowed to land these? Isn't that banned? Isn't that yeah. Wait, 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 let me check my own rule set. I think we made a rule that you can only lease guns. I'm pretty sure. No limit to land leases that go to China and Spain. There's a reason we did that. And I think yeah, even yeah. you argued for that, Dan, because that uh, Russia fucks himself over with that because you the allies get oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. some shit. Because you lose that then, but... Error? When it's a China player, concentrate... Still, I think this is okay days. because uh, it really weakens so Russia. He's lo losing, losing 12,000 fucking base like, equipment. So this will hurt him in the long run. Okay. Walker, and very, very important, these bad boys. This is how Tommy plays US Navy. So that's all the Navy I want. Destroyer Freeze. Oh, I didn't do the... I didn't do that cruiser. The cruiser that... I didn't do the spotting cruiser. Which is also part of my tactic. I forgot that guy, actually. So this is such a bad example where I'm like... You should oh yeah, sorry, I, I didn't... I but now Japan is dying to China and then everybody tells me... Yeah, I'm taking giant breaks after this. Uh, you should not allow China. But this is Japan's fault, with all due respect. And he even said he had like a shitty court for a while. Pretty, you pretty is, uh, you get 10% more war support if you do selective training. I swear to God I didn't. Yeah, I know, but you need to do it before you get 10% uh, war support, which is if they do high world tension. And they did do that early, so yeah, I guess they cut you. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. You say Japan broken, holding this like this, we're fine. It's more than fine. <laughs> Just produce a lot of air for us so we can win Europe. I'm sending a shit on. Check the okay, so that's the spotter. Oh, yeah, I, I gotta concentrate for a second. It's actually the one moment in the game where you have to concentrate. Now, you make the anti-sub destroyer, which is depth charge 2, depth charge 2, depth charge 2, one light battery in case you actually fight someone real, can still do sonar, that's about it, fuck torpedo launchers, you still still do torpedo launchers, because it's still gonna do basic stuff, this, and you make one line of hardcore submarine. Okay, eight torpedo, more aluminum first, bro, you can. Snorkel, torpedo, torpedo, engine Three. That is my use. I have 32 Navy Mountaineers. Boats. And then later, you wanna have more convoys. That is my entire naval one. Japan ain't looking that good. I'm gonna have to lend these two Leonard ones. Tommy just said, arrived uh, 10 days ago. China and now it's my issue the game and Japan is falling apart. You can kind of put this I'll on I'll do 800 me. I mean, for a month and I... you should have enough combos. I actually am slowly feeling a new Japan game, guys. I want to beat uh, China in HMM mod. I want to show that this is not hard. I want to show up on tech bomb. Maybe I have maybe a big mouth and I'm not going to die, but I, I really beat maybe, myself. Maybe don't, don't. We're winning the war. It's, it's something I really learned about USAs, and that's a very professional thing to learn. You have to, you saw how I slowly build up my aluminum mimes in the beginning of the game, very slowly. And you have to like outbalance that, right? If you if you don't build the aluminum mines like I did, you will right now have minus twenty minus thirty aluminum. You have to you have to trade. But by building these mines, you really save a lot of yourself because you have a lot of aluminum yourself. To and uh, obviously, UK needs a lot of aluminum for all his. Tommy, planes. hello. Yes, I'm here. Twenty uh, k a day to Canada instead. He needs more fuel. Even more? I sent him 9%, jeez. Uh, just send him a static friend of 20,000 a day. Here we go. Leno, that should be enough. Does anyone here need any convoys? Yeah, New Zealand. Okay, New Zealand, let's go. One sec. And Rush with the mind. Okay, one no. sec. Okay, I need France to die because in the rule set, I like that rules. I think these rules are very balanced. I'm not allowed to send any yeah, equipment to the allies until France lead. dies. I think that's very Left. fair. Because otherwise, you would say all their planes you, to the allies. Get the allies get out. green air, no Your France, and Germany is kind of like, oh, fuck. Yeah. France. Oh, wow. Ah, uh, he didn't. He didn't defend that. Purin is clever enough to know that he has to protect this. I He's giving away France. 
Which is clever. I like that. Oh, you mean? Um, are you gonna take my free tank? Here we go, man. Trying oh, yeah, something different. Fucking Sherman DDs. I haven't seen them in years. Thank you, Animal. Sherman DDs are actually trash. Sherman tanks will always beat you, but no, fuck, do something is... else. Why not? No. One, two, three, four, five. Up to island. And this right here is just the basic defense to not get fucking man in the high castle, man. Japan can still beat this, but this is the basic ass defense <sighs> to not fucking get wrecked too easily, man. It's very fucking simple. It's not even that crazy. It's a very boring mm -hmm. build for you guys, but at least Tommy's playing major, and I'm just making air, 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 and that's just how you really help the allies the most. It's Who cares why? But so far, good build. Everything's good. This is how you play USA. I did some mistakes, but <sighs> oh my God. All good. Okay. I don't Italy's see not the during the war. Anymore. Africa's not happening. Japan died. Too bad for Japan. It sucks for him, but Chat, I might actually do a Japan game soon. The problem is the moment I play Japan, everybody will jump on my dick, man. Let's show Tommy, let's show him, let's show him. That, that's what's gonna be annoying, but... I wanna show that I can easily beat a China in this mod. I don't know how to balance this lately. Who's winning most, Allies or Axis? I, when I used to play this a lot, the HMM Tommy K rule set, the oh, Axis will win a lot. And I think a great, great... Yeah, I'm gonna throw for a dick here. A great gimmick that my rule set adds to the game is... Whoever you think is unbalanced, Axis or Allies, you can just uh, make uh, Argentina join them. If you, for example, feel, oh, the Axis are a bit underwhelmed, they need a buff, what you do is, in the Tommy K rule set, which is the best rule set ever, you allow a volunteer only Argentina for the Axis, aka Argentina sending two tanks to Germany, helping out a bit. Well, Maybe even Marines, who the fuck knows? In a weird way, Argentina is a little lever I to balance the game. I'm gonna sit in a better and port here and repair. I'm not I'm playing duo, no, I like I playing duo. Playing alone makes better players. Uh, in my opinion, the the, uh, the average skill level in Hoi 4 has declined because everybody always has co-ops. Back in the day when the game was fresh, you had to micro everything yourself, which made you a good player. Nowadays, you have five fucking people. Uh, this uh, shows me something. It's very important to understand this. Japan is retreating and going into defensive stance. What does that mean, right? Sun Tzu out of war. He is preparing to do something to me. Let's be serious here. He's thinking of doing something to me. Let's let's be real. I like also how today I yeah, didn't do any radar team. that leaves me uh, to uh, open Norway? to yeah. research. You haven't taken all of it here. You the funny thing about USA and Vanilla is truly, you think you have a lot of research, you have 40% research speed on six uh, research, but you actually don't. USA actually has big issues managing the research. There's so much you have to do that you fall apart sometimes on other stuff. Look, I have no upgrades here because I was too busy doing other stuff. And I like actually not doing radar. Marines so and... So much time. Uh, it will take 90 days. So I think I can justify now in Italy. And We're we trying are going to declare them in 41. Down Bulgaria, which might actually work here. I don't think Sofia is enough there. Oh, oh, oh German tanks. Yeah, just go for Italy when yeah, we declare on a uh, Good defense here. Dude, oh, German tanks are you. Are you serious? Here yeah, yeah, comes just... something I haven't done a long time. I'm actually very excited about this. This is a really, really cool division that I haven't shown in a long time. I think this is not a better division. German heavy tanks and even medium freeze will just easily kill this division. But this is the ultimate naval invasion division, man. This shit has so much naval damage. And here's my boy, man. I like this division, man. It has to be Amphibious Tank 2s. Amphibious Tank 1s are so trash. Amphibious Tank 2s are considered medium tanks. They're much better. Don't think it's that strong, but I like it, man. Look at that. That's a cool division, man. I like it. Right, full it planning. Sardinia, 24 Marines. This is really how you play France, man. Turin is playing very well here. Don't defend France and actually uh, have impact in late game. I might be wrong, but I love doing this. This is the ultimate meta submarine hunters. Look at that. I made fucking 34 ships, late game in a way. Let's train them, and this shit will just destroy submarines. And every time you have submarines here and here, and someone harasses you, oh, I can't beat submarine freeze, you put that shit on them. Even build a radar, maybe. Like, this is enough destroyers to, so, uh, in a good game where people are good, all my shit will get intercepted by German submarines and Italians right here, right? Like this. And then you put these, what I built here. The spotter cruiser and the level 3 anti-submarine uh, destroyer, you put them all here and you're fine, man, GG. I I'm gonna play Japan game soon, but under the condition there's a China player. I wanna show it's possible. Don't forget though, we have to talk about this. In this rule set, I don't know if it's a mistake, I don't think it is. We allowed a full Russian land lease, aka Russia sent his entire air, as you see here, to China. Meaning Japan probably had red air, which is very heavy. And it's very hard for Japan to beat Don't that. let me get raided. You have to sir. build uh, early game no, air. It's very hot. So if I play Japan, 
and I want to be to China, and China gets all the air from Russia, that's going to be hard. But I think I can do it. It just sucks because you actually have to build your own fighter twos, and that's kind of shit for late game. But oh, India's really taking everything good. And let's be real, if Tommy oh, plays wait, Japan, hey, they're oh, going to really support China a lot. Dude, but I, I think I can beat it. No way, <laughs> Sorry, allergy. Wait, but really? But I need to yeah, really, really I, pay attention I to yeah, yeah, I building my own air. I don't know. The problem is if Russia sends all their air to China, a lot of Japan players don't know how to handle that red air. So maybe a rule that you can only say gun guns, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah too. If you're if you're along China, don't at least don't allow uh, China. To use. We might have to change that rule because a lot of Japan players die to the Russian airplanes. So we might have to turn that off. Because can you allow? Like Russia is only allowed to send guns yeah, yeah, to uh, Russia. Uh, Russia is only allowed to send guns to China. China. We might have to do that. Let's try to help these Japan players that have really big issues. Let's try to help them a bit. Like I said, this rule set will always change. Why not? But can only send guns to China. Let's try that out. I think that could be a good balance thing. I still believe Russia can send infinite guns. A good that you have to. I said that for four years. Japan always has the mathematics on his side. Like let's say this is Japan, this is China. Even if China has five hundred divisions right here, you will still beat that because of the uh, signals that you have in the Japanese division. And I've, I've shown it a million times, man. Wait until far. Fucking Argentina. Leonard, Eastern Med, Eastern Med. But again, German tanks will oh, always Eastern kill you. It makes no sense to invade so. this. Right, rest in peace. Rest in peace, you will be remembered, sir. Yeah, that was not a good yeah. nation, man. Why I have supply in here. Don't worry, don't worry, we have supply in here. Mexico has a nice, ooh, nice. With my navy That's how you play fucking Mexico, look at that, nice. Oh, they've yeah. already landed in, yeah, 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 look at this. We need to hurry. Already died. We need to hurry, please. Okay, what's the plan? Oh, don't, if you rush it, we will never do anything. You do a calm and concise D-Day. Exactly. You, yeah, and not a single right rush D-Day has ever worked in the history of Hoi 4 of my 6,000 totally hours. Right, I'm man. not gonna start now. Okay? Totally right. Yeah, okay, maybe that's something. Incorrect. This one correct. won't work, so... And that's what excites me. Look at this Mexico player. Mexico is just like, hey, let's design this tank. Now imagine with the new DLC, the cool fucking... Things you can try out as a miner like Mexico, man. That's gonna be so fucking cool. Yeah, if you want to Wait, stop he has, production. What are you yeah. talking about, nine ore? Really? Oh, he doesn't have any have... motorized? This is a trash division. Oh, oh, it's going. So this is actually trash, trash division. Have it has no uh, organization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. missing the motorized. Shut up, shut up. And here's my point. The allies landed in Sic Sicily and, and Greece and lost so many divisions. Argentina died. Uh, the, the South African tank died. Why suicide here if you're so dearly needed right now? Russia is okay. completely okay, launched. Launch, launch, launch. Dude, they're almost like dead. They're gonna cap in two months, literally. Holy oh. crap. Damn, Take Russia. Take Russia, like always. I wonder how much impact Russia sending a lot to China had with this. I, want, I man, really want Russia to is just getting completely annihilated here. 12 Alta, we're dead. We're ah, dead. no, German yeah, tanks are here already. In. Goodbye. Okay, 12 tanks. Yeah, it's oh, literally yeah. bye bye time there. Some luck, they don't have any tanks. Just... Oh. They don't. They don't. Too many tanks. We're just gonna get wrecked. I have to actually go in, man. We're completely We're running out of time here. Let's wait for a little bit more work. I have to open it I'm up front. Leaving. We're getting completely killed oh. here, man. Uh, we need to invade this quick. We didn't take a board. Yeah, German tanks are just kidding us. Oh, no, that is the issue, man. But I, I said that for years. You can D Day all day long, but you have to kill the German tanks. And if they tell me that no allied miner made any anti tank, that's really bad. You have not encircled shit. What are you doing? And here's the problem. I can land all I want. The German tanks will always kill me. That is the point about Hoi 4. I'm sorry, but you're just yeah, not. You just like, off your we need some more open infantry to oh, German tanks front line And that's the point, chat. He instantly has all these tanks here. I'm just dead, dead, dead. That is the issue. And the issue is Russia died so fast that all these Germans can come over here and yeah, nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do about this. That is just... They don't need to kill Russia anymore, so all German tanks are now here, and that means they're gonna kill them, do they? Yeah, the invasions are not gonna be great totally either. Sense. You have the allies landing everywhere with infantry, so Spain and Germany can just out-counter this easily. Like, oftentimes, right, you have, like, the Germany now, maybe Grisha on a stream, oh, wow, well, we destroyed them all. It's not that fucking hard, man. The missing skill is that the allies didn't provide anything to, to beat these things. I like that, though. It's a cool game how um, the allies were so fucking strong and still couldn't get D-Day going, man. I love it. I think that's really cool. I guess this division is more usable on Mexico, Brazil, New Zealand, Australia, because as a major, like you say, you should actually focus on heavy tanks to beat the Germans a little bit. We, we would have lost anyway in this game with Russia dying like this, but I really want to make this work. This is, I love this division, man. I am a big fan. Still, I had fun. Good game. That was fun. That was fair. The Axis looked behind. They still won. They did great. Russia failed hard. It happens. That was fun. I really enjoyed this. And I would love to play another USA game. 
Uh, well, that was that whole full game. It was still fun. I really enjoyed that. That was fun. Guys, thanks for watching, man. Thank you for the support. Uh, not a stream that ends a bit early, but it is what it is, man. Sometimes in life it is like that. Thank you very much, man. Hope four was actually fun today. I really enjoyed that. And all the best, man. See you guys on Wednesday. Bye.